Hello, everybody. Good to be with you this morning. My name is Dan Chapman. I am the founder and CEO of Red Remedies, and we are going to talk today about immunity imbalance. And uh, we're going to make sure that we go through and help you understand uh, the different components of the immune system. Uh, what what is the immune system made up of in your body? Uh, what are the different stages that your body goes through when it's working to protect yourself from invaders? Um, and then we're going to go through some natural solutions and things that we can do, uh, not just to make sure that we don't get sick, but some things that we can do uh, to help our bodies uh, when we do get sick. So let's go ahead and get started on the presentation. Um, and also just know that if you go to our booth, we have some uh, great offers for you. We're actually giving away a year supply of either Immune Every Day or Immune Advanced uh, that you can just uh, put your name in and sign up for that drawing. We also have another giveaway of some travel sizes. Uh, we've got about 40 different formulas in our line um, and then some great deals and offers for you as well. So let's go ahead and dive into the topic today. Um, one of the things that I always like to do is make sure that you know a little bit about who we are as a company. So let's start with some of my history. Um, and it actually starts with a, a different company called Sunrise Health Foods. Um, that's a picture of my mom and dad on the screen. My mom and dad started Sunrise Health Foods in the South Chicago area in 1961. And uh, my mom in particular was really sick in the 1950s. So as a young lady at that time, she found herself dealing with a number of, of significant health issues. Most significantly for her were food sensitivities, anxiety, and tendencies towards depression, and certainly a lot of fatigue to go around with that. And um, and uh, to, to keep the story a little bit short today, uh, you can learn more about this on our website. Um, but my mom changed her, her health by changing her diet and lifestyle. And so um, I literally grew up in the aisles of a health food store. Uh, the store that you see picture there in the bottom right corner is in Lansing, Illinois. And there today, we've got five stores in, uh, in Illinois and one in Northwest Indiana. I've spent the majority of my adulthood and my childhood for that matter in the aisles of a health food store. And it was really out of that experience that I started Red Remedies. Um, I, have, I have talked to thousands and thousands of customers um, about the health issues that they have, uh, talked to them about their diet, herbs and nutrition. And it was really out of that experience that we started formulating products. So let me tell you a little bit about who we are at Red Remedies. Red, first of all, with two Ds means to put in order. Uh, it, it's a word from the early 1800s and it literally means to put in order. And that is our mission at Red Remedies, is to help you put your life in order as it relates to health. Uh, we know that it is so important that we feel good uh, health-wise so we can live a full and productive and, and joy-filled life. So that's what our desire is at Red Remedies. Um, there's three things that I'll talk about at a high level that are very important to us as a company. And first and foremost is results. Results matter to us, just like my mom needed results in order to feel better when she was um, you know, in her young 20s and, and into her 30s. I know that all of us, when we need a solution, that solution better work. Um, and so we are committed to making natural products that work. This is Stacy Littlefield you see on the screen. Uh, Stacy has her undergrad in biology and a master's degree in herbal medicine. Uh, Stacy leads our formulation process at Red Remedies. And, and if you're interested, she'll be speaking tomorrow at 11 o'clock Central Time uh, on a, a topic titled uh, Take a Deep Breath. So she'll be talking about allergies and asthma and breathing and just the whole respiratory system and how we can be healthy there. So you won't want to miss Stacy tomorrow. Uh, but it's, it's important to us in everything we do, we are designing formulas that work. Um, the second thing, uh, well, within that idea of formulas, I'll just kind of go a little bit deeper there. There's three things that all of our formulas do. We design them to nourish, support, and create balance. We wanna nourish the body specific to the issue that we're addressing, because even with, with natural products, you can push or stimulate the body, or you can nourish the body. 
We want to nourish the body, essentially giving your body the food that it needs, the tools it needs, so it can do what it desperately wants to do. So we're allowing your body to do what it is already capable of and wanting to do. And then we take this step back and we support all of the systems that are involved in that issue because your body is whole and connected. There's never an issue in one area of your body that doesn't ripple throughout the whole. And so we are making sure that we are supporting all of the organs or systems that are involved in that targeted issue that we are working to address. And then the third thing is balance, because ultimately that is our goal in the body is to create balance. Um, balance in your body or homeostasis is perfection. It doesn't get any better than that. When the body is in balance, you have tons of energy physically and mentally. You don't have symptoms that you don't have disease. Uh, balance is very hard to achieve, but that is our goal. And I'll go further to say that, you know, if you're an athlete and you're interested in peak performance, you will never achieve peak performance if your body is not in balance. So that is our goal. The second thing that's important to us at a high level at Red Remedies is purity. We have an extensive uh, purity uh, program. We call it our purity promise where we test for over 500 different toxic compounds. I won't go into detail on this. We've got lots of information on our website. Uh, here you can read an extensive white paper that Stacy, uh, our master herbalist, has written on this, um, or uh, just a short kind of two page to give you the highlights of what it is that we're testing for. But we absolutely ensure that our products are clean and pure. We go far beyond what FDA requires uh, of us when it comes to purity and safety and efficacy for our products. And the third thing that's important to us is, is family. Um, we're a family owned company. And uh, while I, th I think that's wonderful, I also believe that is within a healthy community or healthy family that we can reach our best. And so part of what we want to be for you um, is, is that, uh, that community that can help support you in your uh, road to health. Um, we can be here to answer questions for you, uh, to be here as a guide as you need it. So just know that we're here. If you have further questions afterwards, uh, please reach out to us. So let's dive into the topic today. I'm going to start with the, the concept of stress. This, is, this sets the stage for healthy immunity because it is stress in our bodies that disrupts so many things including our immune system. I believe that's essentially important, especially for today, this year, all of the stress that we're under and the fact that stress impacts our immune system. And I'm gonna go into some details as to, as to how and why. First of all, let's define stress. Stress is the body's reaction to a change that requires a physical, mental, or emotional adjustment or response. Essentially, that means a stress is anything that takes your body out of balance and then requires your body to spend energy to come back into balance. So it's not just, hey, I had a stressful day or a stressful week, but stressors. And we, we live in an environment of many, many stressors, of not just the environment, not just emotions and physical, but all of that combined pushes our body out of balance and that causes our body to have to spend valuable resources to come back in alignment. So and there's actually a definition for the cost of this stress. It's known as the allostatic load. Um, this essentially is the price that your brain and your body pay for being forced to come back into that balance. And this allostatic load can build over time. That's the, that's the damaging part of this is our bodies are designed to deal with and handle stress. Our bodies are actually amazing at handling stress. But if we don't deal with those small stressors and they build over time, that's where we really start to have lots of problems in the body. And, and here are some issues that can be caused by this allostatic load or this, this building of stress in the body. And, and this is what the medical community has told us or proven about stress. Um, they have said that the allostatic loads can actually create permanent changes in our brain, leading to chronic pain, anxiety, depression, uh, PTSD, cognitive decline. Uh, stress, stress causes a lot of issues. It, it, it damages the cardiovascular system. Um, uh, actually, stress is a leading indicator to cardiovascular disease equal to that of smoking. So stress is a big deal. 
Um, stress can elevate uh, glucose levels. So those of us struggling with blood sugar issues, stress is a contributing factor there. Stress can create inflammation in the body. Of course, it disrupts our sleep cycles. And then here you can see kind of in bold that st uh, stress suppresses immune function. And we'll go again in a little more detail there. Uh, but stress further, it, it takes energy away from digestion. We actually need good and healthy digestion for our immune system to function properly. So that's an important component. And of course, stress robs us of physical and mental energy. So the good news is there are some natural solutions that generally help us with stress. So there's a class of herbs known as adaptogens. So an adaptogen is not the name of an herb. It's actually a category or a classification for a small handful of herbs uh, that are really remarkable at helping our bodies deal with stress. In order to be an adaptogen, these herbs have to have three very specific qualities. Number one, an adaptogen has to be non-toxic. And while I will tell you that herbs are very, very safe, and they are, but herbs in general are not all non-toxic. This simply means that the safety profile of an adaptogen is incredibly high. Anybody can use an adaptogen, even for a long period of time, and it's not gonna hurt you or cause damage in your body. Number two, an adaptogen will produce a nonspecific response in the body. And what that means is an adaptogen has this unique ability to work anywhere in your body that you have a weakness or something that is out of balance or wrong. So an adaptogen will work in any organ, any body system, head to toe. So quite unique as an herb. Most herbs, while they might have a long list of things that they can help you with, most herbs are very, very targeted. Adaptogens work anywhere in the body. And number three, they have a normalizing influence on the body. And this simply means it doesn't matter if that organ or body system is overactive or underactive. An adaptogen will always bring that back to balance or bring that back to center. So when we look at these three qualities in a single herb, this is really remarkable. Adaptogens are absolutely safe. They'll work anywhere in your body something is wrong, and they will always essentially fix or create balance out of that problem. So as I go through this today, I will point out the different adaptogens to you because while all adaptogens do these things, each adaptogen has something that it's particularly good at, so kind of an expertise. So we'll, we'll talk about that as we get through some of the specific herbs here in just a moment. So let's talk now about the components of the immune system to kind of set the stage for uh, why we're using specific herbs uh, when and where. So there are five main components of the immune system. That first component is our skin and mucous membrane, so kind of that physical barrier. Uh, the next component is the mononuclear phagocyte system, which essentially is your white blood cells. And then we have the lymphoid system. This is the lymphatic system. Uh, essentially, this is the highway or the road system for your immune system to travel throughout the body and do, do the work that it needs to. Um, next is bone marrow. I don't know if we've ever thought about bone marrow being part of the immune system, but it absolutely is because all blood cells find their start in bone marrow. So we have to have healthy bones, healthy bone marrow in order to have a healthy immune system. And then number five is the liver. And, and I'm actually gonna start with the liver because the liver is your, your main immunological organ. So um, the best way to understand what the liver does as it relates to immunity is it essentially uh, creates the words that your immune system needs in order to communicate and know what to do. And so this um, essentially is, is producing these 80 to 90 percent of these circulating circulating proteins, which are required for immunity. We can look at those proteins as words. Um, the liver has to create these proteins properly for the immune system to get the right signals and messages to all of the different types of immune cells throughout the body to know exactly what to do. If we look at the, the liver, it is essentially uh, uh, populated by these um, immune cells. Just a very diverse, large population of immune cells are located within the liver. And that is the perfect place for these cells to be located because the, a third of your blood essentially passes very slowly through the liver every minute. So every three minutes, 
all of the blood in your body very slowly passes through your liver and these immune cells are scanning, looking, removing, uh, giving instructions and commands of what to do. So right there within the liver, the liver can scan and clear viruses and bacteria, cancer cells, as well as removing dead cells and other, I'll call it just cellular debris. So the liver is essential. If your liver is not healthy, you are not going to have good immunity. And I know we oftentimes think about the liver as this filter for the body, which it is, right? It, it's, that is absolutely true. But if the liver is stressed in its filtering job, it's not going to do its job well, which is working on the immune system and so many other things in the body. I really look at the liver as a manufacturing plant or a processor where it, where it is taking things that are not active and useful in the body and converting them to forms and things that our body can use well. And this is true of B vitamins and fat soluble vitamins and hormones and on and on. And of course, uh, its role when it comes to immunity. So the next thing that we look at when it comes to liver and immunity is specific to those that are struggling with autoimmune issues. So one of the roles here of the liver is to produce uh, very specific cells called T cells. Um, we call these Tregs. So th these cells, their job essentially is to, um, to manage tolerance of the body. So to make sure that your body knows what cells are yours, what cells are human, and what cells are essentially an invader. And so the liver, the liver's role in producing these cells is essential because if these cells are produced right or if these cells get confused, that's where we start to um, have some autoimmune issues. So whenever you're dealing with an autoimmune issue, and it doesn't matter which one of the 80 to 120 autoimmune diseases there are, every single one has a component of liver imbalance or liver health that needs to be addressed if you're struggling with autoimmunity. So let's just remember that as we kind of go through and, and we'll come back to that in a moment as well. So let, let's frame out now the organization of, of immune function. So we've talked about the different components, but here's how the immune system is, is organized. So the first phase of immunity is the physical barrier. Again, that's your skin and mucous membranes, that physical barrier to keep invaders out of the body that don't belong. The next phase of immunity is the innate immune system. This is the front lines of the immune system. So any invader that gets into the body will first be addressed by the innate immune system. The innate immune system is very fast acting, very rapid in its response, and it's a bit nonspecific. So, it, and what I mean by that is it has the ability certainly to kill bacteria and viruses and things like that very quickly, but the innate immune system doesn't have a memory. So when it meets an invader, every time it meets that invader, it is for the first time. So when we talk about building immunity, it, we're not building immunity in the innate immune system. When the innate immune system recognizes something that doesn't belong in the body, that, that it can't quickly handle on its own, it is going to send a signal to the adaptive immune system, which is this next or third phase. The adaptive immune system is um, kind of night and day different from innate immunity. It's very slow to respond, very specific in its response. So you can kind of look at the adaptive immune system almost like a board of directors that is going to, you know, you're going to have a, a group of individuals around a table that are going to sit and have a conversation. What's going on? Have I ever seen this invader before? How dangerous do I think they are? Um, how, what condition am I in right now? Is my body tired or fatigued? Is my body stressed right now? All of these different components are going to be considered by the adaptive immune system. And then they're going to come up with a very specific plan on how to deal with that invader. And that's the specific part. When it comes to adaptive immunity, once this board of directors, if you will, has designed a plan for that, that invader, that board of directors will never forget who you are and how to address it. So this is where we build immunity over time, because once we meet that invader, if we ever meet it again, the adaptive immune system knows exactly what to do. So it'll take a minute again to consider the situation, but it already has the game plan and will go to work very, very quickly. So these are the three phases of immunity. I want to talk for a quick second about stress. 
Um, so I started the conversation today about stress and immunity. Now I want you to understand what happens with stress on the immune system. So stress and stress hormones essentially act as moderators and regulators of this immune response. So these stress hormones play a direct role in how my immune system is going to act. So in, in how this plays out is in uh, under a, a short-term stress situation. So something happens and the stress response goes off in the body. And so this is minutes to hours your immune system is actually upregulated during this initial phase here. Your immune system gets upregulated to protect your body from harm. Uh, maybe, maybe you've been in an accident or been injured, or maybe you have a cut. The immune system is going to upregulate in order to help protect your body, deal with that injury, deal with an invader if it's there in the body very, very quickly. So your body kind of prioritizes lots of energy going into the immune system to do its work. But if the short-term stress transitions to long-term stress or chronic stress, which would be after several hours going into, could be weeks or maybe even months. So this long-term stress, actually the immune system changes. Energy is taken away from the immune system. So here the immune system is down-regulated. And this is where we have a problem. So many individuals live day to day in chronic stress. So we are living essentially with the immune system in our bodies, not having the, the energy or the tools that it needs to respond to invaders that come. And that is when we get sick. So we have to deal with the stress response when we're helping somebody uh, either prevent an illness of any kind or recover and get better from an illness of any kind. We have to deal with stress. So I want to go into four specific formulas. Um, and I get questions often about why, why do you have four formulas at Red Remedies? Can't you get this done with one or maybe at the most two formulas? And the truth is, no, you can't, not, not perfectly. Um, and we are interested in designing formulas that are going to work for your specific body and specific needs. So let me give you kind of a, a framework of this quickly, and then we'll go into the different formulas so you can understand why you would use one and when. The four formulas are essentially broken into two categories. We have two formulas for everyday use. Um, the first being immune every day, which is for healthy individuals to make sure that we don't get sick. And then we have immune advanced, another everyday formula. This is specific for people that are struggling with autoimmune type issues, um, or, or I would say individuals that are struggling with cancers and things like that, where the immune system is overactive or needing to uh, expend significant energy constantly. So two everyday formulas, immune every day and immune advanced, depending on what's going on in your body. And then we have two rapid response formulas that we, you would use when you need them. That's immune VRL Pro and immune VAC Pro. So that's the layout, two every day and two rapid response. And let's dive into those formulas. First, immune every day. Again, this is, our, this is our main formula in the line, designed for everyone, every day, and in every season. It is a simple one capsule a day formula designed to keep you healthy. So how do we go about helping somebody that feels good today, make sure that they feel good tomorrow and through a cold and flu season or, or whatever season it may be? So the way that we're going to do that is we want to deal with stress, as we've talked about. We want to support liver function. Um, and we're doing that through medicinal mushrooms, vitamin C, and adaptogens. So those specific ingredients, we start with ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is an adaptogen herb. So this herb fits the classification that I talked about a bit earlier. And if we look at ashwagandha, it has a, a lot of really wonderful things it does as an expertise. Lots of great research on ashwagandha for its ability to uh, help the immune system function normal and in balance. Um, really a number of different places that it really kind of touches immunity, if you will. It, it helps immunity by modulating that stress response. It helps immunity by protecting and nourishing and, and normalizing liver function. It protects immunity by helping to make sure that the different cells that are produced, that, they, that the flow and the process that cell development follows is healthy and normal. And so essentially, it is wonderful at helping the immune system 
function healthy and normal while we are under times of stress. And so that is what is important about ashwagandha. What you're going to find is actually this herb can also help you kind of calm down a bit if you're feeling that stress and at the same time feel a bit of a sense of energy. Um, it is not a stimulant in any way. You will not feel that sense. But when we're stressed and we deal with that stress, the result of that is actually a sense of energy and well-being. So ashwagandha is a fantastic adaptogen to start this formula with. And then we use three medicinal mushrooms, miyataki, shiitake, and chaga. All three of these mushrooms have significant amounts of research uh, in and of themselves in their ability to help immunity. And so when we put these three together in a formula, we are literally nourishing the immune system in its entirety. So these mushrooms are full of alpha and beta glucans and different polysaccharides. And again, lots and lots of research showing that, that these herbs have antiviral, antibacterial, antimicrobial, anti-tumor, helping our body deal with immune uh, suppression, just all kinds of different wonderful effects. But we can look at these mushrooms essentially as food and nourishment for the immune system. And then the last ingredient in Immune Every Day are rose hips. Um, and, and yeah, these are literally the little buds at the end of a rose bush known as a rose hip. Rose hips are very high in vitamin C and lots of other good bioflavonoids and other nutrients for the body. So we extract and standardize these rose hips, standardize them for their vitamin C content. And the reason that we want vitamin C is when we are stressed, our body actually uses more vitamin C. So vitamin C is, is kind of this finite resource, just like food, right? We need to eat multiple times a day. Well, we need to consume vitamin C multiple times a day. And when we're stressed, we actually need to consume more vitamin C because my body is using more. What vitamin C does for immunity is it essentially protects those immune cells from damage so they can um, live a longer period of time, if you will, to do their job better. I know oftentimes people look at vitamin C as an immune stimulant or immune booster. That's not quite the right way to frame vitamin C, even though maybe that is the end result. It's not really boosting the immune system. It is simply allowing those immune cells themselves to be healthy so they can do their job well. So it is an antioxidant protecting those immune cells from damage and harm. So very, very important. So again, immune every day is one a day, every day. Um, you can take this product year round, uh, easy to use, and it is designed for, I'll say, individuals that are healthy today to make sure that we don't get sick. And that doesn't mean that, that, that you will never get sick. Everybody is going to get sick somewhere along the way. But when I'm talking about a healthy individual, I mean that when you get sick, your immune system functions the way that it's supposed to. So immune every day is for the majority of individuals to make sure that we can go through whatever season we're heading into and make sure that we come out feeling good through that whole season. The next everyday formula is immune advanced. Um, as I said a bit earlier, immune advanced is, is designed for those individuals whose immune system struggles is probably the best way to say that. So we want to help make sure that your immune system that is struggling and working over time um, starts to come back into balance so it can do its job well. And so what we recognize here with Immune Advanced is that we have kind of this, this you know, perfect storm, if you will, a combination of, of some genetics that have gone wrong in the body, uh, a toxic environment that we live in, um, it, food that we eat, body care, cleaning items, and all those things. So things in the environment that create stress, and then uh, our body's inability to regulate itself related to the immune system. Um, and we need all of this stuff to come back into balance so immune system can start to function properly again. So let me talk a little bit about the approach of Immune Advanced and then we'll go through the ingredients. Um, immune Advanced is focusing primarily on what we call the upstream to immune function. Uh, I know typically when people have autoimmune issues, generally we look at the immune system as the problem, but, but it's not really the immune system that is the problem. It is these upstream things in the body that are stressed or not functioning right that's causing the immune system problem. So what we wanna do here is we want to focus intently on the stress response in your body, on liver function, 
and the lymphatic system because we find that with what is common with all autoimmune type issues and people who have a stressed or an overworked immune system is their body is dealing with stress in a significant way, their liver is not functioning normal, and they have too many toxins in the body and they're not able to get rid of them. So we wanna work on stress, liver, and get the toxins out through the lymphatic system. And then we also do pay attention to what we call the downstream, which is the immune system. Um, again, if we can take care of these upstream, the immune system is gonna have a much better chance of being able to do its job properly and, and within balance. So what we wanna do with the immune system is simply nourish it and support it. We are not stimulating the immune system. We are not uh, suppressing the immune system. We are simply nourishing it and supporting it so it can do its job well. So very, very important that that, that is what we accomplish with Immune Advance. So we start, with that stress response again. And here there's two adaptogens that we're using in Immune Advanced, Rishi, which is a mushroom, and Shizandra. So Rishi's expertise as an adaptogen is immunity. Rishi is amazing at helping our immune system function at the, the level that it's supposed to and within balance. Lots and lots and lots of studies on Rishi and immunity. Shizandra's expertise is emotional stress. And that's the other connection that we see oftentimes with autoimmune issues and things like that is there's a lot of emotional stress. Shizandra is wonderful at helping with emotional stress. Um, those two adaptogens combined are going to do a very good job of, of protecting your whole body from the negative effects of stress. So let's talk about liver health because liver is that second thing that we want to deal with. And so immune advance is really hitting hard to bring the liver back to a place of health and nourishment so it can do its job well of not just filtering toxins out of the body, but making sure that that immunity um, is healthy and strong. And so we have three mushrooms in this formula, reishi, cordyceps, and turkey tail. All three of these mushrooms by themselves have significant uh, hepatoprotective properties, meaning liver protective properties. Uh, we take these three herbs, they are custom extracted for us at Red Remedies for this formula, and then we have them custom fermented together specifically for this formula. The reason that we are fermenting these mushrooms is uh, mushrooms all have kind of a, a woody cell wall, if you will, and that cell wall needs to be broken down. The traditional way to extract uh, mushrooms is to use hot water, just like making soup, if you will. So that's the way that we extract these mushrooms initially is with hot water. That hot water will do a great job breaking those cell walls down. But with this formula, we want to go that further step of fermenting it because the fermentation process will further break those cell walls down and potentiate that polysaccharide content in those mushrooms. And the reason that we wanna take the time to do that on this formula is we know that generally people that are struggling with autoimmune issues and, and cancers and just those really difficult health issues also have digestive weakness or imbalance. And so we just wanna make sure that we're helping that individual get every bit of nourishment and help from these mushrooms. So it is absolutely worth the fermentation here. And so um, a very thorough uh, fermentation process. When it comes to liver, we also have dandelion root and herb in this formula. We have two components of the dandelion because they are different. The dandelion root is fibrous, uh, contains some wonderful fibers, specifically inulin, which acts as a prebiotic. So it's food for those good bacteria in our digestive system to live and thrive and do well. And then the dandelion herb, these are the leaves. These are, these are bitter components. So these bitter components are going to do a good job of getting toxins out of the body, purifying the blood, um, just helping to make sure that we can get those toxins out. So we want both components uh, of dandelion here. And then when it comes to the lymphatic system, so this is the third upstream component that we need to address. We need to help your body get toxins out. So the lymphatic system is a wonderful way to go about doing that. Um, and so we're here, we're using cleavers and burdock specifically. Uh, cleavers and burdock have a long history of use of, of showing their ability to open up the lymphatic system to read toxins from the body. Um, the, I, Cleavers and alterative are, are in a classification of herbs known as alteratives. So an alterative herb 
is a specific herb that has this ability to kind of rebuild the body at a systemic level. So while they're cleansing the body, these herbs are also like tonics or builders, if you will, to restore balance at this foundational or systemic level in the body. So really wonderful herbs to be used specifically in this type of a formula as well. Um, and, and I want to talk about immunity here. And so we're gonna bring up the mushrooms again. I know I talked about these mushrooms as it relates to liver health, but all three of these fermented mushrooms in Immune Advance, Rishi, Cordyceps, and Turkey Tail has significant research in their ability to modulate and regulate the immune system. And again, that is important. We do not want to stimulate the immune system in any way for people that are using this formula. And these mushrooms will not do that. They are working to balance and to regulate and modulate what's going on in the immune system. So Immune Advanced is a formula where you can take anywhere between one and four a day. So there's a range that can be used here and that's important because you might be going through a difficult season in life where you need four a day. And the best way to use that is two in the morning, two more in the afternoon or evening. But you might also be going through a much better phase or stage of life where you can back that dose down a little bit. You may not wanna stop the support completely but we can back that dose down to one or two a day just to maintain and make sure that we're staying healthy. And so you don't go back into a, a bad phase. So, um, but again, Immune Advance is designed as an everyday formula, safe to use every day for long periods of time, for years on end, if you are an individual that needs that support. So let's go into the two rapid response formulas. Um, Immune BAC Pro is essentially a broad spectrum natural or herbal antibiotic. That's what it's designed to do. Uh, when we look at bacteria in the body, we actually have more bacteria cells in our body than we have human cells in our body. Th that is almost impossible to believe that we are made up more of bacteria than our own human cells. And what we don't want to do is we do not want to rid ourselves of all bacteria. We need bacteria in order for our humanness, our human body to be healthy and strong. We simply want to eliminate the bad. And that's what this formula is designed to do. It is designed to kill bad bacteria, to cleanse them from the body, and then to restore balance once again. So we start with an adaptogen again, because when we have an imbalance of bacteria in the body, it, is, it creates a tremendous amount of stress in the body. So we definitely wanna deal with that stress response. And here we're using andrographis. Andrographis is an adaptogen, um, but andrographis, what's unique about it is it's also a very, very bitter herb, known as the king of bitters actually in Ayurveda um, or Indian uh, herbal medicine. Um, it is a very, very strong herb to um, work on that stress response, but its expertise is restoring balance to bacteria in the body. It will get rid of what doesn't belong and it will not affect in a negative way the good bacteria that our body needs to live and thrive and do well. So we start with andrographis. The next herb we're using in here is coptis. Uh, cactus is a traditional Chinese herb. Um, for those of you that are familiar with golden seal, which is popular here in the U.S., cactus essentially is a Chinese golden seal. And the reason that I use a Chinese version of this rather than golden seal is golden seal is an endangered herb here in the U.S., and we, we don't want to over-harvest it. So it's a wonderful herb, but I'd rather not use it. Plus, Cactus is actually stronger than golden seal. It has a long history of safe and wonderful use. We standardize it for something known as berberine. Um, cactus essentially is a, a really potent herbal antibiotic, a great herb to use. Two other herbs that are used kind of in this, this balance to, to create balance for microbiome or bacteria in the body is Japanese honeysuckle and forsythia. Uh, this is a combination that we use together uh, this combination has been used together for many, many, many years, thousands of years, and it does a wonderful job of restoring balance to the digestive system. It's going to work on uh, infections that we might have in the respiratory, respiratory system, our throat, even the skin. So this Immune BAC Pro is a formula that will work not just for digestive issues, but throughout the body if we have an issue with fungus or candida. Um, and, and again, 
it can be anywhere in the body. It, it could be like toenail fungus, for example, or uh, a candida infection, you know, uh, in some of the more private or sensitive areas of the body. Immune DAC Pro is a, a wonderful formula used for those purposes. And it is a formula that we're going to only use for a short period of time. So let's talk about our, our effects here on the lymphatic system with Immune BAC Pro, where we're using burdock to clear the body or to cleanse the body to restore balance. And this is essential because when bad bacteria die off, they leave a trail of toxins behind them. And that is actually when we feel symptoms of feeling sick. Uh, we might have diarrhea, we might have gas, or we might have constipation. It can be a variety of those symptoms. We might just feel nauseous. It's the die off from those bacteria and the toxins created that make us feel that way. So we want to cleanse those bad bacteria that are dying off from the body very quickly so we can restore balance. And burdock is going to help us with that by opening up the lymphatic system and, and just getting the, those toxins out quickly so we can restore balance. Immune BAC Pro can be used anywhere between two and four capsules a day. Um, and I would suggest to you that it would be a good idea, um, especially if you're feeling some of those issues, to take two twice a day, start feeling better quickly, and then move on. This is generally a formula that you're going to use for uh, a week to two weeks at a time, and then you're going to let your body rest. Um, if you're dealing with something that's a little more systemic, like fungus or candida, uh, let your body rest for a couple of weeks after going through that first two week cycle, and then you can do another two week cycle. And so you can kind of rotate like that, but do allow your body to rest between because the process of getting all of this out of the body actually just takes a lot of energy from the body. So we wanna allow a little bit of time for the system to rest and recuperate. Okay, we're uh, talking about the last formula here. Um, which is Immune VRL Pro. Immune VRL Pro is, is uh, maybe the most uh, prominent formula of our line that's been used this year. It is essentially a broad spectrum antiviral, um, and again, all natural herbal based. And so we wanna make sure that we're targeting the immune system properly um, as we're dealing with viruses. So let's talk about the adaptogens first. We're using two adaptogens in this formula as well. We're using astragalus and eleuthero. Uh, both of these herbs are adaptogens. Both of them have an expertise of helping our body deal with stress and getting rid of viruses in the body. So uh, astragalus and eleuthero are really wonderful ways to start this formula. And, and this is essential because what we know about viruses is that a virus can lay dormant in your body for months and even years. And that virus is going to raise up and create havoc when your body is weak or stressed. And so it is essential to help deal with that stress response so the body doesn't become weak, so the immune system can continue to, continue to function. And so that virus that may be laying dormant in our body does not see an opportunity to wake up and, and create havoc. So we need to deal with stress. And then we have uh, three other herbs in Immune VRL Pro that are more specific kind of broad spectrum antivirals when they're combined. So we start with European elderberry. Um, I think everybody has heard of, or maybe to some degree familiar with elderberry. Uh, we're specifically using European elderberry in our formula because all of the research on elderberry is actually done with European elderberry. Uh, that doesn't mean elderberry that's you know grown in the US is bad. Um, it, it very likely works also, but there isn't research on the US grown elderberry at the moment. And uh, we want to make sure that we're specifically using exactly what was used in research. So that's European elderberry. And what we know about it, it is a, a antiviral, but kind of a specific antiviral. It, it is very effective against cold and flu, but doesn't seem to have a lot of activity outside of that, at least not according to research at the moment. So I view this as a bit of a narrow spectrum antiviral. So I want to wrap some other herbs around elderberry in order to broaden the spectrum of the antiviral activity. And so we do that with Chinese licorice and ginger. Um, these herbs together are in and of themselves really wonderful broad spectrum antivirals. But when we combine European elder, Chinese licorice and ginger, we have a combination now that will really do a wonderful job of dealing with any virus that our body might have to deal with. So 
the way that we would use immune VRL pro is anywhere between two and four capsules a day as well. We give a range on this one because if you're not feeling well, you absolutely want to take two capsules twice a day. Take that full dose and let's get you feeling better. But we recognize that there are some viruses, as we've said, that can lay dormant in the body for years. And oftentimes you might have a flare up of a virus and you know that you're going to struggle with that. So there are individuals that will do well to use Immune VRL Pro for a longer period of time. And so we, we provide flexibility here to be able to use this at a one or two capsule a day, as well as the higher dose. Um, it is perfectly fine to use one of the everyday formulas, Immune Everyday or Immune Advanced, along with one of the rapid response formulas, if you would like to do that. You'll notice that the everyday formulas, Immune Everyday and Immune Advanced are both mushroom based. Mushrooms are gonna provide a very specific type of immune nourishing and balancing different than herbs will do. The rapid response formulas are herbal based. So they stack very, very well on top of each other, but also know that you don't have to do that. If you wanna go through a series of Immune VEC Pro and you just wanna take that alone, that is perfectly fine. It works very well that way. So you can stack them if you choose to have that extra support, um, but you don't need to do that. So it gives, again, some further flexibility based on your own body type and style and just the, the level of health that you're at at the moment. So um, I, I don't see any questions in the question box here, but I'll wait for another moment in case any pop up. I'd be happy to answer those for you. Uh, just remember again that uh, you can go to our, our booth here at Nourish Group and sign up for a one-year free supply of Immune Every Day or Immune Advanced. Um, we also have a travel supply, uh, travel size giveaway. We've got a number of different travel size products in our line. Um, or you can buy any two bottles and get 25% off uh, here for this trade show as well. So Thank you so much for listening. Uh, it's been just my pleasure and honor to be here with you today. And one of the things that I like to say at Red Remedies is I want you to remember that no matter where you're at in life, no matter what is going on, that today can be your day to start living a better life. And we would love to help. Thanks for listening and have a great day.